Cancer is welcome to your weekly sidereal astrology forecast. This is for June 20th through the 26th of 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for sidereal astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so Cancers, this week we have a full moon right at the beginning of the week, which is very important for you guys because it is involving your ruler, the moon. So anytime there's a full moon, you guys come to this higher energy, this higher awareness. And this is going to be a lot relating to your work, which we're going to talk more about here when we get to that uh, part of the video. But uh, at the beginning, there's an awareness. It's a good time to move forward. It's a good time to put energy into things. Now, there are some precautions, which I'll talk about, areas to bring extra attention to, which is going to be Mercury uh, this week forming that Grand Cross. But uh, yeah, the energy is there, so it's good to gain that momentum and move things forward. And I think a lot of it having to do with your work sphere. Now, in terms of relationships this week, we've got Saturn still squaring up to Neptune, of course, coming off of last week. So if there are uncertainties or doubts or you know anything regarding that uh, detachment, right, letting go of everything that's not in your immediate sphere of influence uh, regarding those relationships. And Saturn is retrograde, so you guys are likely rethinking, rehashing a lot of the relationship stuff, maybe about uh, how to have more playfulness, more romance, more lightheartedness in your relationships, which is that Saturn retrograde in that uh, fifth house of yours, because you guys are hopefully taking seriously these things that um, you're either expressing or can be expressing with others, and also taking seriously the fact that you know uh, having fun and playfulness is great in the short term, but especially uh, when it's done in that mature, grounded, and long-term way as well. All right, so that takes us to the work sector, which again is really being highlighted because you guys have a full moon here in your sixth house. So right at the beginning of the week, for those of you who've been involved with anything in the work sphere from over the past six months, this could be a high point, a culmination of that. But at the very least, you guys do have this awareness now. And that's what the full moon brings, is this awareness about either your routines, your regimens, your personal development, or perhaps your work. And some things will likely be working with it, some things won't, and that's what we come to the awareness of. So continuing to move forward with what is working and being willing to let go of what isn't. All right, so that's the um, work sphere. Also, though, with the work this whole side of things, it's actually an important week because uh, Pluto is also going to be trining up to Jupiter, who rules that sixth house from the sixth. So this one's positive. This could be that there's change happening. Maybe it's change with you guys seeing more possibilities with your self-worth or your self-reliance, or maybe the financial stuff, which we'll talk about in a minute. So whatever it is that you're feeling a bit more capable of lately, or feeling like you can accomplish with your values, a lot of positive support here with the work. So it's great for making change with your work. It's great for uh, seeing that there are things that are shaping up and how to be in alignment with that. I think naturally you will be with that trine. Okay, so there could be some positive uh, changes for a lot of you. This is going to be at the end of the week, exact on Sunday. But as the week unfolds, a lot of this powerful change happening. This is hopefully a non-attachment that you've been having and a willingness to change in the work sphere. All right. And of course, also with your big picture stuff, you know, Mars is retrograde. Cause Mars rules your 10th of big picture career reflecting on all this. You know, there's still a lot of things in the air, but this is going to go direct uh, next week in, t in terms of the big picture things. Now, in regards to those finances, again, this is the Jupiter. So you guys do have this positive support as you have had this year. Um, and you think you guys are learning a lot about the financial stuff, which is the North Node shifting into the second, learning a lot about your self-reliance, about your values, about how to cultivate that sense of self-worth access your natural gifts, your natural abilities. And again, that triumph from Pluto, a great week for change here. For those of you who are thinking about making changes when it comes to this uh, financial side of life. All right, so that's taking us to the overview. And uh, this is basically gonna be everything that we didn't cover thus far. Uh, and it's important because uh, this week is very strongly involving Mercury. And we didn't talk about Mercury. So Mercury is basically going over this Grand Cross location that we had uh, two weeks ago when we had the new moon. The sun went over this grand cross. We had that new moon. So now Mercury's got to catch up. And for you guys, Mercury's transiting your 11th house of your aspirations. So you guys are likely thinking still about those aspirations, maybe your hopes, your wishes. This has been the location of the last lunar cycle, so it's still great to cultivate those things. But taking it nice and slow, being constructive with it, and remembering that there's a long-term energy with this. That's what the grand cross is. And even challenging yourself. 
to maybe cultivate some of these aspirations in that balanced way. Now on Monday, there is an opposition with uh, Saturn and a square from that Neptune. So with Saturn, you know, it's important we don't go too extreme into just the dense energies with it. And in this case, maybe just in regards to things you want to enjoy in life, which is the Saturn in the fifth house, uh, but you don't want to get too dense with either the aspirations either. Um, otherwise, that'll imbalance it. And likewise, you don't want to avoid any responsibilities regarding these big picture things or maybe with your groups that you're a part of or uh, networks or, um, you know, uh, what do you call them, like organizations and things. So balance is key. And I think having a healthy dose of willingness to challenge yourself, to work hard, to be big picture, not getting over densified with it. And remembering, too, that there's a big plan at work here. You know, this is what we're seeing with the square up to Neptune. And when it comes to those aspirations, being willing to detach, being willing to let go of everything not in your immediate sphere of influence. Now, on Wednesday, we do have Mercury squaring up to the North Node in Jupiter. And uh, again, I think even with the financial stuff, it's good, particularly around Wednesday, to just watch any extremes with it if you're feeling that. Because sometimes with Jupiter in a harsh aspect to another planet can tip it a little bit. So you do want to watch any extremes with the financial stuff on that day or around this middle part of the week. But uh, at the same time, remember, it's about long-term goals, long-term plans. And a lot of it's linking with, again, those aspirations or group things or networking, whatever it is that you've been thinking about or will be uh, working with this week. All right. And then in that way, again, it becomes very constructive. All right. So that's the uh, week in a nutshell. Again, that Jupiter trining up to Pluto on the weekend on Sunday. So a lot of positive support here shaping up for you guys regarding the financial material stuff, also with the work stuff. Uh, but taking it slow this week, especially with the mind, because Mercury is about the mind. Watching any extremes with the mind, you know, overly dense, overly realistic can be imbalanced. Uh, overly optimistic can be imbalanced. This is the challenge here. Uh, but willing to challenge yourself with those aspirations is great. Uh, take things nice and slow for the big picture. Even maybe get some rest and relaxation for some of you, because you guys do have your sun and Venus shifting into your 12th house. And so it's uh, very enjoyable, I think, maybe you get some of that R&R. &R, but this is going to be the location of the next lunar cycle in about two weeks. And there's going to be some new beginnings with your spiritual self going within and, again, connecting to that present moment. All right, so Cancers, hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next week.